electric motorcycles. Until the last couple of years, this breed of two-wheelers has been rather unheard of, being a part of the distant future and the minds of automotive enthusiasts. However, the progress is not going to wait for the riders to catch up. New e-bike models are popping out here and there, some of them boasting of impressive range and performance, and some only aiming to become humble emission-free daily riders for city commuting. Today we intend to bring you up to speed with the latest electric motorcycle models and give you a glimpse of the direction that the industry seems almost destined to take. Remember that you're watching Automotive Territory, subscribe not to miss the upcoming releases, and enjoy the ride! Evoke Urban Classic and Urban S Evoke Motorcycles is a China-based manufacturer of electric motorcycles that was founded in 2014 by Nathan Tsai and Chris Reether. At the moment, the lineup of this company consists of two e-bikes, an Italian-inspired naked street bike Urban S and a cafe racer-styled Urban Classic. In terms of performance, these siblings show identical results. They are powered by brushless DC hub motors with 25 horsepower and 86 pound-feet of torque output that corresponds to the 6 second 0 to 60 time and 81 miles per hour top speed. Within the city, you can expect Evoke not to down you before covering 200 miles. However, at highway speeds, it is only good for 120. Bear in mind that Evoke has one more bike in the makings, and at the moment, we know it under the code name Project Cruiser. It will be presented in November 2018 and is expected to have rather groundbreaking 250 miles of range and 54 horsepower yield. Italian Volt Lakama Planned to fill in the empty niche of green luxury two-wheelers, Lakama is the first electric bike built by the Milan-based company Italian Volt. The bike combines architecture and styling elements of a cafe racer, roadster and a scrambler and offers multiple customization options, allowing the buyers to choose the overall color scheme and design, add or remove body panels. Lakama is equipped with a 15 kWh lithium-ion battery that delivers up to 124 miles of riding on a full charge and has a 40-minute fast charge option. The battery feeds a powerful 94 horsepower electric motor that delivers 153 pound-feet of torque. Though not quite in the superbike's territory, Lakama definitely steps on their toes, delivering 62 miles per hour acceleration in 4.6 seconds and working out the top speed of 112 miles per hour. It also offers a TFT touchscreen with GPS and a smartphone app that can be used to switch riding modes, tune brakes and torque parameters. Cerulea Motorcycles Man X Priced at $50,000 minimum, which is above any other bike on our list, Man X7 from Cerulea is a masterpiece of Belgian craftsmanship. The motorcycle weighs only 478 pounds, has unique modern design, handcrafted carbon fiber monocoque chassis and swing arm, and perfect 50% front and 50% rear weight distribution. Advertised as the ultimate electric superbike, it is powered by an air-cooled brushless DC motor that packs 163 horsepower and 332 pound-feet of torque, delivering instantaneous acceleration. Manex 7 reaches 62 miles per hour from a stencil in just 2.8 seconds, and its top speed is 150 miles per hour. As a standard, it comes with a 14 kWh lithium-ion energy dense battery that is good for over 140 miles of range, but you can also opt for one of the bigger packs to increase the range up to 205 miles. Harley-Davidson Live Wire Harley-Davidson are running out of strategies how to appeal to the younger generation of riders, so their last resort is to attempt electrification of motorcycles to market them to the EV millennials. The 2019 Live Wire production e-bike will be based on the project Live Wire that was introduced all the way back in 2014. Technical specifications are still vague, but it is rumored that the two-wheeler will get a 74 horsepower oil-cooled three-phase motor producing 52 pound-feet of torque. The design will be a hybrid, a sports motorcycle and a cruiser with a street bikeish nature. Harley-Davidson Live Wire will go on sale in August 2019 and will be the first no-clutch twist-and-go motorcycle in the extensive portfolio of electrified two-wheelers by this brand. Ethac This bike is a product of teamwork of 16 Swiss engineering and design students at the Zurich Universities. Ethac is built using the proven tubular frame construction and gets carbon fiber and forced plastic fairings. The rear tail that immediately draws attention and the design of the bike has actual practical usage. It helps to dissipate heat from the battery and aids active oil cooling. 
the Swiss electric motorcycle knocks it out of the park in terms of range. The 15 kilowatt hour power unit ensures 250 miles of riding with one hour recharge capability. Plus, the dual wheel hub motor's design allows for superior generative braking. Though developers of ETH claim that the fork geometry design is carefully optimized and double sided swing arm topology generates a solid suspension, we are still questioning how balanced this bike is and whether it won't feel too awkward on the road. Tachita T Cruise The Italian company called Tachita proves that going electric does not necessarily mean that you have to give up that massive cruiser look and vibe of a gasoline bike. Despite not being able to utter the characteristic V twin rumble, the brand's first electric cruiser, labeled T Cruise, looks and rides the part. The bike is built by a joint team of American and Italian designers and it has a typical long and low construction with a large headlight and raised bars. It also looks rather comfy due to its hand stitched leather saddle, LCD instrument panel, adjustable foot bags with three positions, and optional rear bags. When it comes to the question of range, New Tachita definitely stands out. It has three battery pack choices, with 7.5, 15, and 27 kWh capacity, delivering from 50 to 168 miles of riding. Home charging of the biggest one is expected to take around 7 hours, but if waiting is not an option for you, there is a fast charge unit available that brings the 80% charge time down to just 40 minutes. Saron White Coast Not every electric bike manufacturer wants to become a new superbike legend, and at the moment, the Chinese company Saron definitely does not. Pricing convenience and affordability over power, the brand created White Coast, their first electric motorcycle that is aimed to deliver convenient city transportation. Powered by a small 13.4 horsepower motor that limits the top speed to 62 miles per hour, the bike will not be a performance machine. However, equipped with ABS brakes, a two-speed dual-clutch auto gearbox, leaning headlights and a traction control system, it will be more practical than some gasoline motorcycles with a lot more ponies. White Ghost gets LED lighting, LCD display, Bluetooth and a keyless fob that can activate flashlight detention, vehicle locating and open a storage box. This bike is priced around $3,000 and as such is expected to appeal to the wide range of consumers. Kelk from Cake Founded in 2016, Cake is a Swedish motorcycle manufacturer that produces light electric bikes for the off-road use. Though the company's first creation called Kalk has been announced only last year, its production series version is already available for the pre-order with delivery scheduled to start next February. Built to deliver exciting performance and riding experience, Kalk is a fun dirt bike option that has many company design components, lightweight aluminum frame and carbon fiber body parts. As a result, it weighs only 152 pounds and is extremely maneuverable. The motorbike is equipped with a 20 horsepower industrial standard IPM motor that has been customized by Cake, specially developed all in suspension, and 24 inch off road tires that have reduced trail wear. Calc is configured for three riding modes, and depending on the chosen one and the rider's weight, it is good for up to 50 miles of uninterrupted trailing. The major concern that people have in regards to the e bikes is their high prices. If these motorcycles strike you as too expensive, we suggest watching our previous videos about the cheapest electric bikes and scooters on today's market. The links will be waiting for you in the information boxes. Let's continue! Altimotors Ratchet EXR The 2019 Ratchet EXR by Altimotors is the all-new electric bike that succeeds the last year EX model. The design of the motorcycle has not undergone any significant changes so it looks just like the older brother. However, on the inside, it is a completely different vehicle. The EXR powertrain is now combined with the new R5.8 pack battery, and it now produces increased 50 horsepower and 42 pound feet of torque. The batteries claim to offer a 4 hour or 50 mile charge without any power drop offs as it depletes. Other upgrades to the 2019's model include WP Explore fork, custom WP shock, and the revised chassis which made the bike even lighter. In fact, it lost 2 pounds compared to the EX and now stands at 273 pounds of weight. The EXR has 4 map settings, which control its power delivery and allow to accommodate the rider of any skill. 
Torque T6X. Torque Motorcycles is the Indian EV startup that developed the first ever commercial electric motorcycle of the country and they actually have a pretty good shot at success since India is the biggest two-wheeler market in the world. Though Torque has rather humble specifications, with just 20 pound-feet of torque and 62 miles per hour cruising speed, it actually matches the usual sub 200cc bikes that could be seen riding in swarms on busy New Delhi streets. However, it totally outshines any other bike on the road with its aggressive look ensured by the custom design components and panels. Torque has raised tank design, which sole purpose is to hide away the battery management system, array of batteries and a motor. This e-bike has 4.3-inch TFT display with built-in GPS navigation, though it could be synchronized with your smartphone as well. EM Flux EM Flux 1 is nothing less but the first Indian all-electric superbike. It is aggressive design with sharp edges and lean forward riding position and offers decent sporty performance. This bike is powered by a 67 horsepower liquid-cooled AC induction motor, producing 81 horsepower and 62 pound-feet of torque. This powertrain allows the motorcycle to accelerate from 0 to 60 in 3 seconds and develop the top speed of 120 miles per hour. Model 1 is equipped with lithium-ion battery supplied by Samsung, which is claimed to have a 120 miles range on a full charge. Fast charging is also supported, allowing to go from 0 to 80% of charge in mere 36 minutes. EM Flex 1 also features cutting-edge electronics, including 6.8-inch TFT instrument screen, real-time vehicle diagnostics, and smartphone connectivity. The bike is expected to be launched sometime in 2019, with the price starting at around $8,000 for the basic trim and $15,000 for the full package. EM Flux also has plans to launch the Naked Street model, based on the Model 1, and will also get an unimaginative name called Model 2. E-Cup 2 from Shanghai Customs Honda Super Cup is the first ever motorcycle to cross the production mark of 100 million units, making it the most produced motor vehicle in human history. It currently serves riders across the globe in 160 countries, and to monetize the success of this universally beloved motorcycle, the Chinese Shanghai Customs came up with an electrified version of the two-wheeler. This is actually their second generation of the E-Cub, and now it is powered by a 100-watt motor connected to a Panasonic battery, good for 28 miles of range at the speed of up to 28 miles per hour, which is just enough to cover the daily riding needs of the majority of city commuters. This nimble thing has fantastic retro looks, front LED light and smartphone connectivity. Bear in mind that if you already ride a Honda Cub, you can simply request it to be converted instead of buying a brand new electric model. How do you like the upcoming Electrify two-wheelers? Can some of them finally satisfy your range and performance needs? Tell us about your favorite models in the comment section as well. As previously mentioned, consider watching other videos within this topic on our channel. Links are waiting for you on the screen. Subscribe, like and share this video to promote the EV revolution. May the torque be with you!